Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to solve this sum in copy isometric. Now if you see length is 108, right? Width is 64, 44 plus 20 and height is 56, 24 plus 32. So first we will draw a layout. We will draw this part first. First you take 88. After that you take this height 12 Then you draw this line That is 44 After that vertical line Then again horizontal line of 32 see this so we have to draw all lines incline at 30 degree in isometry remember that then you go down by 32 then you take 12 and you draw vertical line So we are done with the front portion. Now if you see this part which is behind. This is 20. And this is 44. See this. So we will get that L shape in top view. Then again we'll draw a line from here and line from here. Now see this 12, 12. This is 44 plus 32. So you take 12 from here and 12 from here. So in between we'll get 40. So we can mark center also 20 and from there we'll draw another line again we'll draw rhombus see this so from center we'll mark 20 20 20 20 see from here we'll take 20 20 So we got rhombus. After drawing this, we'll draw the lower part. How much is this? 64. So you go inside by 64. Or you can go from here, it will be same. Then you go up. You go inside by 12 and you draw a vertical line we can darken this this 12 mm line see this now we'll go inside by 20 20, 20 from both the side. Then you draw a line. 6 mm. See this. Then you draw this T shape.
you draw the lower line see this we can draw the slope this is 24 so you can take 24 Now we need to draw a circle at both these places. First we'll draw this. We'll draw isometric circle by four center method. So we'll join longest diagonal and we'll join opposite midpoint with that corner where angle is more than 90. This is 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is M, M. So 1, 2, M we can rotate but we don't require. See this. We generally draw 1 to M, but we don't require it. So we'll start from 2, keep the same radius and draw the arc. Then from 3 to M, see this, you draw arc. So upper part is done. Now we need to draw the lower part. How much you have to go down? 32. So from 2, you go down by 32. See this, take this radius, go down by 32 and draw arc. Now to draw 44, this is a center. So from center again, we'll do the same thing. We'll draw 44, 44, 44, 44, all four sides. See this, from here we'll take 44. Again 44. From here up 44. Down 44. So this way you will draw 4 center method. Now see this, 44, 44, 44, 44, rhombus, now we'll draw longest diagonal. After drawing longest diagonal, from this point where angle is more than 90, join to the opposite midpoint, which is M, so 1 to M. Now from point 1 to M, you can draw arc. After this, we can draw axis line and dimensioning and we can write origin and 30-30 degree. It is very important from the ICC point of view. Generally, we get this kind of sum in copy ISO, copy isometric. Thank you.